Hey, happy Friday morning. This is Friday, November 19th, 2021. We are less than a week from Thanksgiving 2021. Hope you're doing well wherever you are in your world. Hope you're enjoying life and doing well. I love movies. And if you uh, are aware of movie critics, then perhaps you know that back in the 80s when I grew up, there was Gene Siskel and Robert Ebert, probably the most well-known movie critics at the time. They had their own TV show called Siskel and Ebert at the Movies, at which they would give their critique and summary of a movie and have discussion and give each movie either a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If Siskel and Ebert really loved the movie, it was two thumbs way, way up. Ever since then, with the advent of the internet, websites like IMDb, Internet Movie Database, and Rotten Tomatoes are well known for giving every movie a rating. You know, two out of five stars, four out of five stars, three out of five stars, or maybe five out of ten stars, six out of ten stars, eight or nine out of ten stars or three out of 10 stars. You get the point. And for years, the number 10 has also been used to refer to a woman who has an amazing physique. It occurs to me that we grade ourselves. We kind of review ourselves. We kind of give ourselves a rating. Not with A, B, C, D, like in school, but we all kind of grade ourselves. We, we evaluate ourselves. We have this internal gauge um, which, uh, with which we decide whether what we say and do is right or wrong. And that's our conscience. And that's a good thing. But too often, we give ourselves a thumbs down when we should be giving ourselves a thumbs up. It's good to have our conscience and, and be aware of when we say something or do something that isn't right and, you know, apologize, make amends. But, but too often, we judge ourselves too harshly. Sometimes we are our own worst enemies. Sometimes we are our own biggest critic. Sometimes we're just too judgmental with ourselves. Can you relate? On some days, we give ourselves an, an 8 or a 9 out of 10. We did very well. And some days we give ourselves a 5 or a 6. Eh, not too bad. And then some days we feel very lousy about ourselves. Some days we feel very bad about ourselves. And we give ourselves maybe a 3 out of 10. Very low rating. Not good. Well, again, it's good that our conscience keeps us in check. And we are aware in our hearts when we have done something or said something that we shouldn't have. So that we can go and apologize and make amends. But the biblical doctrine of atonement tells us that besides our behavior... Besides what you do and say, you have been made holy and righteous when you became a believer. You became righteous, you became holy in God's sight when you became a believer. So from now on, we shouldn't give ourselves a rating based upon our works. If we do something or say something that we shouldn't have, we should by all means apologize and, and, and work things out with somebody, but we shouldn't judge ourselves too harshly. The Bible says in Hebrews 10 verse 10, we have been made holy through the sacrifice of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Do you know that in God's eyes, you are holy? It's true, every day. Now perhaps today or tomorrow, your attitude is thumbs down. Perhaps Monday or Tuesday of any given week, perhaps your level of energy is thumbs down or eh, not too good. 
But in terms of who you are, in terms of your spirit, in terms of who you are in your essence, in God's sight, you are always a 10. Doesn't matter what you look like. Doesn't matter if your attitude has been uh, raised up by coffee, caffeine. That's all important in life, but in God's eyes, you are always a 10 because you're a child of God. When you became a believer, he made you holy. He declared you you're holy. This is true for all believers. Romans 5, 19 in the New King James. For as by one man's disobedience, that's Adam's sin, many were made sinners. We were. So also by one man's obedience, that's Jesus obeying God. By one man's obedience, many, that's many believers, will be made righteous. You were made righteous in God's sight when you became a child of God, when you became a believer, when you began your relationship with God, when you had an awakening to the reality of God in your life. So today I want you to know that as a child of God, you are always a 10 out of 10 stars. Now maybe your boss or coworkers don't, don't think that highly of you. Perhaps your friends don't think that highly of you all the time. Perhaps you have people in your life who don't text you back, don't call you back, don't show up, don't email. They treat you as expendable. That You're never expendable in God's sight. You're always a 10 out of 10. Your value in God's sight never changes. Just like a $10 bill that, that has been dropped on the ground, walked on, gotten dirty. If you pick it up and go to a store, it still has the value of $10. And your value and your worth never change. Doesn't matter if certain people have dropped you out of their lives, or if you've been walked on, stepped on by people, your value never changes. Your value in their eyes may be low, but don't look at yourself through the eyes of people who disrespect you. Don't evaluate yourself through the eyes of your mother or father or even your spouse who disrespect you. Don't measure your own worth based upon people who don't give you much time or invest in you. In God, you're always a 10. Your worth never changes. Your value never decreases. God does not evaluate you based upon how good you've done or, 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 or the good that you haven't done. The moment you place your faith in the Lord, he called you righteous. He called you holy. He called you a 10. You received the righteousness of God. And God has always been this way. If you're a Muslim or a Jew and you don't look to the New Testament, look to the Old Testament. Look at the first book of the Bible, Genesis 15, verse 6. Abraham, when he was called Abram, Abram believed the Lord and the Lord counted him as righteous because of his faith. It's always been that way. God's acceptance through faith, not by doing enough to earn your way into heaven, not by doing enough to get on God's good side. In Christ, you're always on God's good side. Every single day, you are a 10 out of 10 stars. So you can rest assured that every day, you have a 10 rating. You are a 10. Even if somebody criticizes you, even if people don't call you back, don't reply to your text message, don't care about you, even if people leave you, you are always a 10 in God's sight. Believe that, feel that, accept that right now. When you finish this video, 
hold your head high, say, thank you, God, and walk today with attitude. Not arrogance, just poise, confidence. You are somebody. You have tremendous value. Your worth never changes. No matter how life treats you, no matter how people treat you, no matter how an ex treated you, their opinions of you are not that important. God's opinion of you is ultimately the most important. And your opinion of you is also ultimately most important. And God says you're a 10. So feel like you're a 10. Talk as if you're a 10. See yourself with the worth that God sees in you. Hold your head high. Smile. Live with confidence and faith knowing that you are a 10. Your level of energy may be a five or a six, especially on Monday and Tuesday. Your attitude when you wake up may be a three out of 10, but who you are, who you are in your essence is always a 10 rating. Why? Because God said so. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you're one of my awesome subscribers, thank you so much. You're my VIP. Please feel free to watch all of my awesome videos on this channel. Have a great day and God bless.